That should hold, right? Hopefully. Yes, no, maybe. Ugh. Okay. Be right back.
Jet. I'm here. I am uh, probably way too close to the camera right now. I don't know. We've never done this before, so uh, please bear with me. How's the audio? If you can hear me sounding okay from here, I know there's kind of a loud bit of out, not outside noise, but uh, yeah. <laughs> See, I'm just now walking on stream. There's a delay. And got this on mobile. It's decent. Oh, so you can actually see it. That bird loud as fuck. Yeah, gotcha. Oh, look! That angle's just fine. As if you needed help seeing it. Okay, cool. So, uh... That's, that's weird. Let me know if the audio changes, because you shouldn't be able to hear that bird on a shotgun mic. Let's see. <laughs> Does it sound any different now? Is there a way I can just, like, just look at the chat? <laughs> You gotta figure this out. Chat, chat, chat. There's a stand on the back of the iPad. Well, that's cool. Uh, doubt it. Doubt it. What do you doubt? I wish I could... Yeah, there we go. Chat only. Cool. There we go. That works. Chat only. Yeah, yeah, got it, got it, got it. But how does the audio sound? Does the audio sound different now that I've unplugged the microphone? bird is quieter. That's not how this is supposed to work. Shotgun mics are supposed to make it so you only hear what's in front of you, and you are definitely not in there. But I bet everything else is quieter too, so let's try that. Actually, probably should keep a, uh... Nah, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. Just need chat. I sound fine. Cool. Stand. Yeah, butt cracks could be a problem, potentially. I've, I've given that some thought, but I have not prepared at all. Ugh. Dingusama, how you doing? Uh, so today we're doing some motorcycle maintenance. Whether or not we need to close this uh, door over here, which will, I mean, it's going to happen because it's going to be, it's going to be pretty, uh, pretty, uh, what's, what you call it? Dark. <laughs> There's the word. We're gonna figure out what we need to do. I'm gonna go ahead and close it actually just because it's already getting dim. Ugh. But that was lovely on the ears. Okay. <sighs> So this is going to be a little bit of a slow stream. Yeah. Ew, oh my god. Yeah, yeah, I figured, I figured. Alright, we need to get some light going on here. We don't even have a light above the... Above the subject? Really? Let's see. I'm sure that works. Right? Right, chat? Uh-oh, butt crack toss. There we go. That's a little bit better. Garage door screeches. Yeah, sorry dudes. Alright, we need... What do we need next? Probably move this damn cable out of the way. Oof. There we go. Oh. That I am parked on. So, what is wrong with the motorcycle? Well, nothing's wrong with the bike, except I hit a nail. What's the plan? I, well, what we're going to be doing is, uh, for the first time ever, we're going to be lifting this bike uh, on our own. I've never actually done any kind of wheel changes on a motorcycle before, and yeah. That's what we're doing tonight. 
I got a nail in that rear tire right there and we got to change it up. Refilling blinker fluid? Very possible, very possible. So what I need to do is, I mean, the picture looks pretty decent from here. I don't think I need to move the bike, right? I don't think it's in the way of anything. But I very, very well may, 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 may have to uh, turn a fan on because it is god hot in here. Like, it's so fucking... <sighs> it's so human. <laughs> Alright, so... I'm going to be putting this iPad right now. <sighs> oh. Here we go. You think we should start with the rear wheel, or you think we should start with the front? The front's the one that doesn't have a problem. <laughs> uh, let's see. We should probably get a little bit more light. Let's see. Light, 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 light. Where do we have the light? Probably a little bit more light from this angle. A little bit from there. How's it looking? How's it looking? Oh, you can't even see the... Oh, wait, no, you can. I just got chat over it. How do we turn chat off? Can we turn chat off? No, no chat. Um, hide chat, yes. There we go. Now we got an angle. Okay, yeah, we could use a little bit more light, just like I thought. Let's see. Now, where is that? over here. Oh, wait, hang on. We got that. Does that work? There's a little comment, but, oh yeah. Are you patching, or did you get a new tire? Uh, we are actually, um, Dingasana, we are removing the tires to go get new tires. And then we will be, can you guys hear me okay? I'm sorry, I'm kind of worried about this. Oh. There we go. We have power in this outlet? No, we do not. Which needs to be resolved. What about anything over here? Sorry, there's so much setup time here. I just <laughs> I didn't really have a whole lot a lot of time to set up. Yeah, I'm good. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Alright, uh Damn man. Where's my uh I got an extension cord somewhere. Jeez. Oh wait, here we go. Here's one. All right, I need to scooch past you real quick to go outside and plug this in and bring the cable in. Oh, never mind. We're locked in. One second. Sorry. Mute. Okay, if you guys will do yourself a favor and mute it again, I'm going to close the door, once I can confirm that this works. Jesus, what is a plug? Yes, oh god, yes, it works. Jesus, okay. Alright, mute your mics. Our speakers. Can we... 
be like that. No, it's not going to work. Come on, chat. All right. Feels good, man. <laughs> okay. Maybe a floor lamp. That probably doesn't look so good. Ugh. Professional streamer. That's what we are. That's what we like to go by. Maybe... No big deal. NBD. Oh, jeez. God, my retinas. No, that's not gonna work either. Fuck it. What are we doing? What are we doing? Maybe just right here. The sensible place. Okay. That probably looks kind of crappy, but... You know what? It's just the kind of crappy I like. Although, a little harsh. Let me move it back. Ugh. I think it's gonna be harsh either way. Frig. Alright. That's probably the best it's gonna get right there. Yeah. Damn it, iPad, I command you. Do not shut off your display. Okay. Damn it. I literally just had it. Okay, cool. Nobby, how you doing? Hey Jake, how's it going? What the hell is this goofy stream? Where the fuck am I? Also, I can't hear anything because I'm near the stream to keep this shit goblin quiet. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Well, I mean... We're doing stuff. Chop shop. Yeah, we're not doing chop shop. Fiddledaffle, how do I on iPad? Ugh. How does somebody iPad to get the display to not turn off, right? That's what we want. Let's see. Settings. I don't know what I'm doing. Settings, settings, settings. General? Damn. Control center, display and brightness. Maybe. There we go. Auto lock. No. Never. We're going to change that. Bold text. <laughs> yeah, I guess we could do that. Not right now, though. True tone, brightness. Frig off, mosquitoes. Bold text. Yeah. No. Night shift off. Text size. Bold. Yeah. All right. I don't know if there's anything else we need to do. Screen time? No, we don't want that. Fuck off. Display and brightness, that's where we just were. Riveting, riveting content. I, I know, guys. Stick with me here if you could. Uh, Alright, who cares? Give us some content. I don't have my face on. Well, my face is currently melting off, if you couldn't tell. Uh, Kelly, go crash the stream. Yeah, no, no. Don't do that. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so, um, yeah, because Navi is asking. So, this is a motorcycle, in case you didn't know what that looks like. Uh, and that's a rear wheel right there, okay? You follow? You follow? It's got a nail in the tire. You can't see it because it's on the other side, but trust me, it's there. I almost died. Um, we're going to be changing that out. 
And we need... God, this fucking light. <laughs> oh, it's bad. It's bad. Anyway. Ugh. Okay, sorry. Catching up on chat real quick. Real quick. Um, is he doing... Yeah, no. no. We're, we're, gonna, we're gonna be changing the fucking tire. You're a beautiful face. Your face is fine with it. Yeah, you're talking about Fiddle Daffle. Totally beautiful face. Bloody faces are against Toss. Why is your face bloody? Yes. Oh, shit. Th yes. Motorcycle? <laughs> cool guys needs the sunglasses indoors at night. I mean, I do. For this goddamn light. Anyway. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get started on this. I don't know how it's gonna go. But, uh, chat, if you're with me. I'll be with you. Let's see. Just out of curiosity now. Just out of sheer curiosity. I want to see how this sounds. Because this might be a godsend. Ugh. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Plug. Plugs. We have plugs. Why is it so hard to find power in this garage? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go up here. too loud as a chat. Yeah. Don't know how to work man things. Go shake some brain cells into it. <laughs> Let me know how that sounds. If you guys can hear it, I'm fine with that. Uh, we're doing this sort of? No, no, that's fine. It's fine. Okay, so I guess that answers my question. I was saying, uh, let me know if you guys can hear this, meaning I turned a fan on in here to just get some airflow. Some, some airflow, you know, you know? So I can breathe a little bit. All right, cool. We're going to get started since it's finally time. But I warn you, could be against toss. Sounds like it's low enough that we can still hear you. Sweet, thanks, Navi. Yeah, it's not terrible. Nice, thanks, man. Alright, so the first thing I gotta do, as far as I know, is get this bike off the ground. And for that, I need this. Sorry, loud noises. Now, the Indian Scout, as this is, could be a little bit difficult in this aspect because normally what you would do is you would have the bike where its frame is just sitting on this little bit of rubber here. Problem is the Indian Scout uses the engine as a stressed member which basically means the engine is part of its frame. Therefore if I jack the engine up the rest of the frame is going to be putting drag down on it and if I don't put it in the right place, there could be some undue strain and we could break some shit. I don't really want to do that. But I will be careful. Stressed member. I officially hate garage streams. It's okay, I actually wanted to play, I wanted to be playing Final Fantasy right now, but I gotta ride this, uh, this Sunday. Um, that my parents are gonna be in, and I never see my parents, so it's special. I gotta gotta do something, you know? I gotta get this thing on the road, so to speak. Ugh, I'm too shy for cameras. Oh, dude, Nobby, yeah, Nobby, uh, Fiddle Daffle is fucking cute. Way cute. Like, I don't know you, I don't know how you swing, but if you saw a Fiddle Daffle, I know you'd swing a certain way. <laughs> okay, well, it's better than Final Fantasy V. <laughs> Yeah, all right. Let's take a look. Yeah, so we pretty much only have, <laughs> we pretty much only have engine down here. There's just engine and swing arm. 
I guess that answers the question of how we're going to jack this up. I only see oil pan. God, I hope this is okay. I mean, how else would it get done, right? So, well, here, here goes a uh, $14,000 motorcycle losing its engine live on stream. It's going to be good. It's going to be great. I'm excited. Do you have a sidecar to fit your parents into? No, they actually ride. <laughs> I, I do really want a sidecar, by the way. Uh, I'm looking at a Ural. I, I really want to look at a Ural uh, gear up. Those things are badass. I even got my three-wheel license just to go look at one. I mean, I'm married with a baby, so take how you can, how you wish. But I appreciate the other the other lady's cuteness, Avi. Yeah, yeah, it's infectious too. She smiles and just puts a smile on your face. Probably put a smile on your baby's face, too. Let's see. Okay. Well, it goes down as far as it goes, I think. But it kind of, like, impacts a little bit on one side while it's leaning. Slide this way. How do we work this thing? Never worked a motorcycle jack before, just other jacks. Is that the, that's the release, right? Because, yeah, okay, cool. Alright, this side. Might need to clean it just a tad. Yeah. Don't want to let the exhaust hit the jack. Right down in the center there. Is that lined up? Chat, is that lined up? Oh god, why are you rolling forward? Because there's a hole right there in the front, right where the wheel is. Okay. Alright, let's let's analyze. Let's not bend an exhaust pipe. That actually goes lower. So this part right here needs to be back here. Which I think we can accomplish. Just gotta, just gotta inch it, inch it a wee bit. Put Tyler under it and bench it while you change the tire. Uh, DJ, someone clip this, put your cat in it. Oh, dude, kitty's in the house. Jesus H. Christ, where's the, where's the adults to help? Good question. Uh, Put the e-brake on, dingus. Yeah, the e-brake <laughs> that motorcycles have. <laughs> uh, don't forget the kickstand. Well, yeah, a cool, oh, a cute adult. Yeah, Kelly, come in here. We need it. There's no e-brake. Yes, uh, dingus on is correct. We have the kickstand on this side, but the problem is it's in the way. So if I just inch that that way. See, we're in this groove right here. But that could work to our advantage if we can rock into it. That means... Ooh. Like... Oh man, I wish I had done my stretches. see. Well, we have some side over here. Ugh. Evasive J, I think that's you, right? I can't read chat from here, but I'll be with you in a second. All right, so, ow, I just pinched myself. All right. Kickstand up. Yeah. Move over. Straighten out. And... We should have the exhaust in the center. Center. We're not. How do you work a motorcycle jack? <laughs> Is it out? We're out. Come on, buddy. 
Come on, boy. Where do we move this down? Kind of looks like that's what we do. Oh, there we go. Hang on. That's how it works. We land something. I think. <laughs> oh, this is great. This is beautiful. Oh, let's see. Maybe not. Right? Maybe that's just a safety. Why are you not engaging, dude? All right. Chat. Chat knows. Chat knows what's up. <laughs> I would like to sleep in your bunk bed, please. Okay, I mean, come on in. <laughs> Add the e-brake to the mod list. <laughs> so you can drift. Dude, I don't know if you've ever seen a motorcycle drift, but if you have, it's wrong. Ugh. Jay, uh, here's some time for <laughs> making his bike explode. Basically, basically. There's a lot of technical business on your bunk beds, but I want to sleep there. Yeah? Come in, buddy. We will remember him. Giant! Hey, what's up, man? We're, uh, we're making a big mess today. So for anyone who's in chat right now still who doesn't know what's going on, including me, uh, we're changing a tire. And by tire, I mean we're taking off both wheels. So, uh, like professional motorcycle mechanics, we are spending a great deal of time trying to figure out how a motorcycle jack works, because we've never used one ourselves. I've worked on plenty of bikes before, but I've never done this, so it's a learning experience. <clears throat> oh, technically cooking broccoli right now, but I'm not respecting it. <laughs> I might have to take that bunk bed. Yeah. Might have to, or might have, might have to, that bunk bed is for me. <sighs> Your nipples leaking too? Not be my nipples are leaking in anticipation right now. Broccoli should be respected. It should. Big silly J style. Oof. I'm doing a twice baked potato. Also, why twice baked? You trying to burn it? But it's slim baking here. Yeah, I check it every few minutes. I'm not, but I'm not respecting. It. Been lurking since the start. Okay, cool, Jack. Appreciate you, man. I'm also eating dinner. Rolled, ta rolled tacos and rice and beans. I had Subway. I had Subway, and it was, uh, it was Subway. So, hang on. For real, chat. There should be... Why are we not getting hydraulic power to the hydraulics? Thingabobber. What's the cute sticker on the iPad? Oh, well, glad you ask, Kelly. There is a cute little witch sitting in a moon sticker on your iPad. <laughs> what kind of sub? I had a, uh, I had a veggie sub. I had a veggie sub with the veggie patty, pepper jack cheese, tomatoes, spinach, olives, jalapenos, cucumbers, olive oil, vinegar, and salt and pepper. It was, as they say, delish. So why can't we figure this out? What in the world, chat? I mean, <laughs> we have two settings here. We have this, which pulls the bar out, but that doesn't really do much. That just kind of... There's, there's no... <laughs> what the hell? Uh, plug it in. <laughs> I really want Taco Bell, if I'm going to be honest. I'm only eating meat. I bet you are. No, he totally is. Do you want Andrew to come help? Well, Andrew, Andrew's not used to this either. I just need to know how to engage the actual hydraulics. I don't, does this thing even work, though? Because there's no actual guarantee that he gave me working equipment. Like, you don't go up. There's not a lever on the side like a normal jack.
There's no button, there's no switch. Yeah, this is bizarre. Ugh. You got this dog, appreciate it. <laughs> but like, ah. Uh. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Is there, there seems to be grooves over here. Does that mean this moves? No, see, it would have to be back because that is how you lock it in place and it's height. So it has to be back. Maybe if you like pull it up or something. There's no instructions, Jake. The controls would have to be on this side. What in the world? Oh. It's the best part of the stream right here. Do you have all the parts for the jack? That's the thing. Like, normally there's like a big old like pipe wrench or something that you put down and then uh, pump with your hand, but this actually has a foot part, so I don't think it's actually necessary. There's no, like, attachment. Oh, wait. Look at this! The whole thing that we haven't been looking at. I didn't see that. There we go. Yay! There's a lever hiding under here. And then you just let it down, and that's the tension. Cool! YouTube it, Pog. Alright. We got it. We got it. We're tired, though. We're, like, a 20th through the process, and we already need water. Like I said, it's kind of hot as balls in here. Ugh. All right. Here we go, chat. I'm going to sit you right here right quick. Is that doable? Is that doable? A little bit. There we go. Andrew wants to know if it was the pressure release like he thought the whole time. Hey, you know, I, I assumed it was the pressure release. I did not see that there was a pressure release outside of the pedal because it was hiding the whole time. But we're good. Exhaust pipe, move the pressure release to the other. Oh, it's, does it screw? Ah, I see, it screws. Alright. Chad, is that centered? Let's see. Ooh, definitely more front bias. Interesting. Okay, we centered on the jack. Not totally, but we may be able to just move them right off the ground. There we go. Should probably lock the wheels like that. There we go. And then rotate a wee bit. Just like that. All right. Are we day? Are bleh. okay? Yeah, our front end's totally free. Stop moving. Pulls. Yeah, sort of. All right. Slut knees. Hydration demands you consume H two O. Yeah, man. Balloons, yay! FYI, there's a $60 rebate deal going on with Firestone Tires. Appreciate that, thing, Osama. But uh, we already know we're going to go with some, uh, what are they called? Not Metzlers. They're uh, 
Jeez, what do you call them? Uh, Michelins. Michelins. I think we're going to go with the... Shit, what are they called? Commander 2. So that's what it is. And also, Firestorm doesn't really make a whole lot of... Uh, they, don't make, they don't make a whole lot of uh, motorcycle tires. Sure, fuck it, man. This is stressful. <laughs> yes! I have Jake engaged. I have him engaged. Alright, we are up. Still a little bit more front bias. That means we should probably... I mean, there's not really anything we can do. Y'all can see that, right? How it's kind of like... Ugh. Okay. So, we've never been known to do things the correct way. But, uh, chat. Bravery test. I think this locks it into place, right? Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay, gravity. Cool. We leave that forward. The wheels should be... Yeah, they're locked, but this one likes to spin. See, that's a little disconcerting. But checking out what we got, the brake line not being pinched. The brake line down here. Uh, that cable's okay. Let's see. Let's check the other side. Oh god. I love paying people to do things. Jake, dude. The, um, I called the shop and asked them what they might charge for me to just ride this thing over to, uh, to the shop, you know, nailing the tire and all. And they said, well, we won't be able to do it until middle of July. And they wanted a hundred dollars to do what I'm going to do to the front wheel and hundred and thirty dollars to do what I'm going to do to the rear wheel. Uh, versus just me bringing the wheels in having them change the tires themselves, and uh, that's 50 bucks a rim, so. Hard to say no to that. We're gonna keep, make that locked there. And because we are more rear weight bias right now, I think the smart thing to do would be to uh, remove the rear wheel first. But I'm um, fairly certain we should be good on weight balance there. Because, yeah, if we if we don't have this balanced just right, the whole front could come toppling down. <laughs> I think we'll be okay, though. The weight is fairly centered far enough forward to where I'm not worried about it. Sounds perfectly reasonable. Yeah, well, you know, I ain't got that kind of time. I got a little bit of that money, but that's kind of a harsh bill to pay. What do you think, chat? Does that look balanced to you? I want to see what that looks like from here. <laughs> you should strap your bike to that jack so it doesn't fall over when it has no wheels. Thank you. Well, that's what I was just talking about. <laughs> Alright. Do you know how to operate that as well? No, but I can use your help. Hey! We got help, guys! Also, I don't know how to operate a ratchet strap. Where should we actually, I guess that right there, to that side handle there? Sure. Okay. Well, actually, should we ratchet it? No, this is the right side, because the weight's going to come off of here first. We can also go to that crossbar. That weight's more vertical. Crossbar? Yeah. Oh, like you want to move that there. Okay, yeah. Sure. All right. And the release on this is just where? Pull? No. Alright, what's the like, squeeze? No. Push? No. <laughs> you got the expert. Wait, what did you push for that? I opened it all the way. Oh, so you, you just open it all the way and then the barrel can turn. Nice. And now you can Alright. You hold the top. You're not going to ratchet it yet. No. Pull the slack. Do you uh, want this going over your seat? 
Uh, yeah, it should be fun. I'm mostly concerned about the exhaust, not the leg. I think it's, well, let me reverse this. Run it down between the exhaust and the engine. All right. And down to that bar. That works. There you go. Cool. And you can pull as much tension as you feel comfortable. Jake says show him your booty. Andrew, look at the iPad. Give Jake your bottom. <laughs> All right. I mean, it's. I don't want to damage the battery. This is. It probably doesn't need that much tension. That's probably fine, right? That feels sturdy. Yeah. I and mean, we're removing the whole jack now. It's not yeah. rotating on. It's mainly putting pressure on it, so that it's pretty much somewhat supported while it's a hover bike. Yeah. Although uh, Andrew will tell you. He once came in here after I had Kelly's old car on the on jack stands. I said, I said, don't touch the car. And he was like, why? And I put my finger on the trunk at the end, and I was able to just seesaw the entire car back down to the ground with one finger. There were four <laughs> jack stands you were only using two. Well, I had to put the other ones in. And then I was like, oh, wait, it balances because the well, engine's in the Generally, place. when you remove the jack, the car goes on the jack stands. Yeah. Close enough. Alright. Thanks, man. Yeah. Ugh. Okay. Cool. Jake's gone, show's over. Or Andrew's gone. Don't hurt my car, it's already hurt. What are you talking about? Oh no. <laughs> no talks. I won't tell if you won't. Alright. Bike is quote unquote jacked. I'm pretty satisfied. So now we gotta know what, we're, what we said we're gonna do. We gotta take the rear wheel off. Actually, am I in angle for you guys? Curious. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, that's fine. Cool. Let's see. Okay, chat, this is something this is something I've never done. So I have to consult the experts for just a minute. Ah, damn it. Printed this out today, it's a helpful guide. Let's see. Make sure you get completely under the bike and shake like crazy. I'm, I'm going to be doing that anyway. Shut up, she's just a little old. What? Who's old? Oh, the car. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay. We need rear swing arm. Transmission crankshaft. Front wheel. Well, the front wheel can be held for a new good back wheel. Let's see. Rear wheel. There we go. Driven sprocket service. Nope, don't need that. Cushion drive damper? I didn't know we had one of those. That's pretty cool. It's in the belt drive. Rear wheel service. Warning. Rear wheel removal involves supporting the machine with the rear end elevated. Got it. Take precautions so that the motorcycle is secure, securely supported when the re rear tire is off the ground. Got it. Severe personal injury or death can occur if motorcycle tips or falls. Make sure the exhaust system is cooled to room temperature. Yeah, we're good there. If working on a bike equipped with a charcoal canister, nope. All right. Remove the two rear caliper mounting bolts. Wait, is that the brake? What are we doing? That's over on this side. Ugh. Two rear caliper bolts? Interesting. I mean, we have the one. Oh man, how in the world do you get to that? That's weird. Why would you need to remove the caliper if we're just removing the wheel? What's up with that? Oh, this is still part of the rear. Okay. Yeah, I see. We're not trying to do that. Uh. 
This is the rear wheel bearing replacement. Let's see. Death. Hopefully not. Swing arm service. No. I just want to remove the, wheel, the rear wheel. Just do what you think is best. Let me pray for you. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate it. Let's see. Troubleshooting the final drive. No, we don't need that. Do we not have something in here for... Hang on. Last stream. No! Tires. Tire changing, tire removal. Yeah, we know all that. Where's the wheel? Yeah, yeah, no, no. Remove wheel! <laughs> Slash tire assembly for motorcycle. See chapter 11 for front wheel, chapter 12 for rear wheel. Okay, chapter 12. Is that what we were just doing? Sure was. Yeah, that's 12. Alright. <laughs> Okay, guys, you listening? These, this, these are the instructions. Place or position a platform jack beneath the engine cases and raise until it contacts the engine. Remove the rear wheel assembly. Those are the instructions. Who the fuck wrote that? <laughs> fuck. Dude. What? No way. There's no way. <laughs> well, fucking do it then. Yeah, right? I mean, like, idiot. <laughs> Alright. We will do it. Ten millimeter you lost last week and smack the assembly. I mean, that's how they do it in video games. So I don't blame you for thinking that way. Um, that's a big old E clip. I only know how to remove those with fucking screwdrivers. Should be okay. Let's get a towel or something. Maybe. Just place that on the exhaust so we don't ding it up too bad. I mean, like. There's really not much here, other than like, there's the bolt, there's the axle, and then there's the other side. I think we're gonna have to adjust the tension to loosen it. I will get a sharpie and make a mark there. Cheat codes, guys, cheat codes. Right about there. Yeah, right there. That's where the belt tension's gonna be on that side. Okay. So the tension on the belt right now is it's tense. So I guess we'll loosen the tension first. Anyways. Chat, I've been selfish today. I need to ask, how was your day? Giant, I was in camel stream with you earlier. How are you doing then? How are you doing now? Are you having a great day? This is like a 12 millimeter. Speaking of which, audio guys, I'm over here now, so if, uh, if you can't hear me that well, just let me know. 
Fantastic. That means you can hear me. That's good. Good news, man. Glad to hear it. Oh, uh, shit. This is going to be a longer socket. Uh, we're going to guess either 14 millimeter or 13. Yourself? I was there, dude. I was at work, like always. And it uh, was work. It's not a 14 millimeter. It is a 13, right? Right? Yes. Cool. We good. We good. All right. Let's move that up here. Dude, that's a tank Harley. God damn it, Alex. Just chilling as usual. Yeah, man. It's um, it's real reliable until it hits a nail. Just the fucking way she goes. Alright, Lucy, right? Lucy, Lucy. Oh, shit, that was not set at all. Well, that should be enough to lose some tension, right? Wouldn't have happened if it was a Honda. Uh, listen. What if happened if it was a Honda? What if? All right, so the tensioner is now loose. It should be good there. Actually, we should be loosening. Why are we loosening? That's interesting. Is it because, oh, that's why. Duh! You gotta have them kind of in sync with each other, right? Mark that one too. In case you guys didn't know, for next time you guys are changing your Indian Scout's rear wheel, the uh, there's tensioners on both sides. You mean a Kawasaki? Could have been. Could have been. Sucked my cat into her bed. And now I'm going to smoke a bowl. Drugs are bad. Yeah, it's subjective. I would argue that tucking your kitty into bed quite the intoxicant. I wish I was full of intoxicants right now. Surprisingly, I haven't cursed a whole lot. All right, we are now untensioned on both sides, or at least we should be. So now, I assume, got to remove that E-clip. Do drugs all naturally or getting high on life, getting high on kitties. You know, some people do that. There's a, uh, what is it called? There's a, uh, hey, look at that, look how easy it is. It comes right off. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. Some people get high on taking care of their kitties. And I don't mean from actual just love. I mean, like, I don't know, there's like chemicals and shit, right? In some, in some form around cat. Like, there's like some creature that like can infect their cat litter or something and like they ingest it in their food and then it just comes out into their cat litter and it makes like I don't know it's like this weird parasitic fungus like the last of us all right so that side it's got to go here all right so this side I'm probably just gonna hold a wrench onto and I'm gonna get to well no because 
That's what I noticed. We need the wrench on the other side. It's, it's a big old wrench. Oh, heroin, cocaine. Oh, you mean other stuff. Holy hell, there's a gorgeous ride. Forever jealous. Ah! That was my, that was my, uh, my crow call of uh, approval. Oh, but thank you, man. I appreciate it. She's quite beautiful when she runs on the road. <laughs> Can this one even come out? Okay, yeah, it's just a little plastic. All right. So what I'm doing is just putting tension on this nut, or this bolt, rather. This is actually my axle. I'm going to keep that there so that I can hold tension and undo the other side. It ain't no Honda Stevenson, but it's still do. So, Chad, enlighten me. How catastrophic is this about to go? From tits up to uh, 9-11. Let me know. Because here we go. Oh, it actually wasn't that tight. I mean, we gotta do, we gotta undo the belt, but uh, shouldn't be too bad, right? Where's the tension? That's like hand tight right there. There we go. All right. Keep that face up. All the parts. Down here where it's dust, nice and dust. <sighs> that should, in theory, yeah, we got a decent amount of tension back here. Rear wheel looks like it can move, mostly because we have it in neutral. Can't fuck it up, it's so bad. <laughs> Time to smoke and fall asleep, good luck with the bike. Hey man, have a good night. I appreciate you coming by and saying hey. Let's see. Yeah, we're going to need to... We can remove the brake disc once it's off. Good thing, though, if this, if this totally goes tits up. When tits up, you usually go down. So the front wheel is still on. So we can fix that. Somehow. Oh, yeah, man. Have a good night. Appreciate it. Let's see. Can we? Ugh. Can we? Get it out. Good question. Ugh. Is this going to be a case where I need to get the hammer? Let's give that a try. Let's see. Hammer time. Good times. Where's the dead blow hammer? This is actually probably going to require a little bit of support underneath the tire. Probably. So maybe a little bit of wood. Uh, a little too much, huh? <laughs> a little too much. Alright. A little too much balance there. He's watching. No, he's watching YouTube. What? What's happening? Bye, Jack. Andrew's going nuts watching this. No, no, he doesn't give a shit, dude. Call Tyler. I wish he would just take the wheel assembly off already, like the instructions said. <laughs> Listen. All right. Here we go, chat. Good. It worked. Nakey. Take a welcome. It's 9 p.m. Yeah, yeah, of course you're naked. All right. 
right, here's the part where I think I need to like lift a little bit, just a wee bit. Oh. All right, here we go, chat. We're on the belt. Hung up on the belt. Now, which way does the belt come off? Are we looking at right side? Definitely uh, left side, right? Left side, right? Ah, pinch. It's pinchy. I mean, tension's out. It needs, it needs to be forward. Yeah. Like that. Yeah! Woo! Oh. Okay. Now the brake should be... Yeah, the brake's out. Now this part. Forward. Not roll up the exhaust side. Oops. Things are breaking. No, they're not. See, the exhaust... <laughs> not the exhaust. The, uh... <sighs> the license plate bracket is in the way. Ding <laughs> Sama! Uh, I regret calling you Jake. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a little gross. A little gross. NGL. So, like, I don't want to lift anymore. We can snake this out. We just gotta work the the thing off of the thing, right? Like Chat. Forgive me for what I'm about to do. Tits up. Tits down. Woo! All right. And that, my dear chat, is a motorcycle. <laughs> the weight definitely came down, though. <laughs> yeah, she's uh, she's leaning a little bit. Just pop the tire. Put a new one. Put a new one on anyway. I need a drink after this. <laughs> well, I told you once the weight goes front bias, it's gonna get on that front tire. So, oh, we're actually not even making full contact. We good, dudes. Nice. Ugh. Now this should come out from there. That is our belt drive. Our pulley. That's the entrance to the wheel bearing. Laying that on the wood. Now this, this is cool. I saw this in the, man in the manual. I didn't know what it was, but look at that. It's a cool little rubber cushion, right? That little rubber cushion there goes to just soften the way the belt and the engine interact with the rear wheel. Pretty awesome. Jesus H, you let him do this. Nobody. Sick choker. Nobody should be letting me do this. Drops forty fourteen thousand dollar toy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobby, we're professional. We can do this. You just gotta believe. Also, how much of a mess do I look right now? <laughs> like right now. I mean, not all this sweat is just from the heat. I promise. So we gotta take the. Uh, I'm gonna take the brake disc off. I don't want to lay that on there, but we need something. Shit. Rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Wood. My kingdom for wood. Oh, wait, I was supporting that something. 
Who needs that wood there? Let's see, wood. What wood? Ah, uh, jeez, chat, jeez. Uh. Ragged run. Your caliper is hanging by the line? Wait, your brake caliper is hanging by... Oh, it's Andrew Raggedy Ram. Yeah, I know, dude. The, the caliper should be hanging right here. It's supposed to. The funny thing is, it was telling me to unbolt that, but then I saw that that was just rear caliper service. Also, chat, if you see me go anywhere near that rear brake, right there, I want you to fire me. <laughs> Report me to TOS. Can't close this caliper at all. Bad idea. It's open, so we're good. Alright. Let's see. I need something to set this on. Andrew, show me your wood. Oh, there's a little box with a light bulb in it. Anyway. Just a second. That's good. Cardboard would be great too. Wood or cardboard? We can do cardboard, definitely. Spiders and everything. Nice. Alright. Oh, spin her around. And just set the wheel hub there. Cool. How visible is that, chap? Ah, uh, you can't really see it, but I'll pan down for just a tick. There we go. Yeah. It's got a nail in the tire. See? I didn't actually get to show you this to you guys yet. Where are you? There you are. See that right there? Right there. That actually looks like a friggin' spike. I can't tell what that is. Ugh. We gotta figure this out. I'm gonna say 10 millimeters. Let's call it 10 or 8. Why did you not inform me? You're hiding the ratchets. You guys are holding out. What the fuck, dudes? This has got to be 10 millimeter, right? <sighs> work is being a slog. Oh, Microjack, how's work going? Why is it uh, being a slog? Or is it a slig? If you know your odd world. I'm so sorry to hear that. Doing okay? Thanks for asking. Hell yeah. Nobby's good people. Hey, we were right. If there's one thing I love about this bike, it's American, and yet, everything's metric. Nice. Let's see. 
Bolts on the wheel. Go. Screech, screech, screech. You know, I gotta say, there was um, a surprisingly not a hard time trying to uh, get bolts off of this. Maybe I should try and check bolts uh, a little bit more often than once every never. Because uh, bolts are kind of important when you're going 140 miles an hour. These are long boys. Oof. Say, let's call them one and a half inches. Because we're talking metric here, of course. <laughs> Bobby, I'm just seeing your, uh, your hello to Michael Jake. I just immediately thought of uh, Link. There's still a tension in there. This one, maybe? This definitely looks like red Loctite. Are we supposed to be using red Loctite on a part that should be able to come off? I guess the answer is yes, since we can get it off. Or maybe it's that awesome, uh, not Loctite. What is it? Andrew, what's the brand of Loctite that's not Loct that's not Loctite? Because that's definitely red thread locker. Well, no, the, the bottle's red, but the actual inside is blue. I don't know. Branding. Branding, man. Come on. It's brutal. Cool-looking brake, at least. I mean, uh, on all my other bikes... Didn't have a disc in the rear. You just kind of got, well, you press that pedal down there, and uh, Suzuki just collectively went, good luck. <laughs> Going through code releases. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it's, you're, doing, uh, you're doing software dev. Yeah, absolutely. Things that should be going smoothly aren't. I keep having to log into work constantly today and do late stuff. Oh, it sucks. Yeah, that's the, such is the life of software development, uh, especially during releases and all, new builds and all that. Glad you're doing well. Lock I <laughs> I can't tell if that was I can't tell if that was a joke or not, but uh lock tight. But if it's uh if it locks I I guess it's no harm, no foul, right? Okay dudes, this is the brake. It is off. Well the brake disc that is. We're gonna move this out of the way. Probably gonna put it over on Shelf full of shit. Sit on this one saddlebag. Yes, I said one. If you're curious, I'll tell you why I only have one saddlebag. So these bolts are fine, not falling out. Yeah, it should be good. Should be good. Yeah. On the bunk beds, stress, that's why. Uh, what? Okay, don't twist my arm. Why do you have one saddlebag? Well, Jake, I have one saddlebag because the other uh, flew off. Because the dickhead who sold it to me neglected to tell me that the locking mechanism doesn't work. And that was during a group ride where there were people behind me and uh, we were doing like 50 miles an hour, you hit a bump, it goes rolling off, a whole bunch of bikers gotta move out of the way and not die. That's embarrassing, man. Put people's lives at risk, and <laughs> I'm worried about not killing people. Saddlebag torsion. <laughs> nope, not quite. Not quite. Let's see. Put that there. Tools, tools, tools. We might still need this though. Okay. Was there? All right, dudes. That is the. Uh, that's the rear wheel for now. I want to say. I don't think you need to worry about this because that's in place. These are in place. Keep the belt out of the way. Might as well. As, I don't want to. Yeah, it's fine. That's fine. It's all fine. Curiously, there are screws right there that are missing. There's like missing bolts down here by the bottom of the frame. With exposed electronics. Oof. Shouldn't there be like a plate or something there? That's interesting. I mean, the stator cover's there to keep it cool, but... Yep. Yeah. Did you get banned from the cool group? What's the cool group? 
Oh, the, the group of riders? No, I self-banned though because this happens every single time, dude. Every single time that I, oh, hello, Barry. Every single time that I do a group ride, every single time, something, something goes wrong. And that time it was deadly. So, not too enthused about doing that again. I'm gonna remove this. I don't think there's anything else I need to remove. There's bearings here. The bearings don't matter when you're just taking off the tire. But this is loose, so I'm gonna put that somewhere safe. There. All right, wheels are done. Well, that wheel is, but I'm gonna get that out of the way. Let's set that over here for now. Okay, camera. Let's 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 center you. True. Ugh. Okay, there we go. Sorry if you guys couldn't see that well. All right. Sounds to be pretty good. But yeah, I appreciate you guys coming in. I want to do more motorcycle stuff on Twitch. Just like I want to do more video game stuff on YouTube, but uh, still struggling to find the happy uh, balance of medium here. Like, uh, my goal eventually is to be riding this on Twitch, having my camera gone, but uh, guys, the GoPro that I would be using for that is not rated high. It's the only thing, it's the only thing that has live streaming capability uh, action camera that I know of, but uh, I'm not hearing great things about its connectivity. Feels bad, man. Oh, you know what feels bad? Dehydration. One second. Whew. the time for the front wheel. We know what front wheels do, right? Anyone in chat? Can anyone tell me what a front wheel does? I sure I should tell now. What do we need? This? No, we need a pilot wrench for this, I think. That's a, yeah, that's monkey wrench. Or so they say. I don't know what it's called. This one should be fairly straightforward because this is just literally just the axle. Oh, that's right. This one like just screws into it. Oh, this one's gonna be super easy actually, guys. We just need to find the right size wrench. Okay, so, uh, chat, this is what we have to do. For this wheel, all we literally have to do is get the right size wrench in here, which this is clearly not, and then uh, just turn it, because it just screws into the other side. So, uh, shit, I gotta find the right size wrench. The simplest part is the hardest, all the time, every time. Let's see, that was a size 12, 13? We have that right size wrench. We have a bolt sort of ratchet thing we could use with it. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Bummer. 
we're gonna need that size wrench thingy there, so uh, I'm gonna have to consult real quick the owner of this garage here, whom you just saw graciously offer me his ratchet strap, to which is now uh, belligerently warping my nice leather seat. So I'll be right back. One second, guys. Sorry. Oh yeah, of course he did. We're going out the front then. Mute now. Okay, the key master is en route. Maybe in this toolbox over here? Nope. Ew. One second has passed. Listen, Jake. How about this? Ooh, that looks good. It's just a hunk of steel. There's That's nothing exactly on it. That's exactly what it is. Is that what it gets used for? No. Um, I need like literally one size bigger. Maybe two sizes bigger. Nice. Is that electric tape? Is a hose clamp? Probably. All right. That's one way to secure it. Let me test this out. Though. That is too big. We'll probably have to fly with that. The garage noise. Oh, sorry, Kelly. I told you to mute. Oh my God. That's Andrew, not me. My garage is doing a lot. That one's too small. That one is too small. That one is too big. Damn it! None of these work. Let's see this one. Oh, go away, June bug. Okay, Goldilocks. Did you just call me cute? to please. So, I'm not cute? Is that what you're trying to say? Ah, too small. 
Hello. I think these are not metric, but I think that one's the only one that's going to do. They came out of an old garage. Yeah. That's the only one it's going to do. Well, it's got to do. And I keep them where I keep them. This bitch. Because I hope I never have to use them. <laughs> because I don't want to use Allen wrenches that big. I, uh, well, I mean, your bike. You might have to use them eventually, man. And I'll go out and buy the proper tools. I'm not going to do it at 9 oh, in the nice. afternoon. We're, uh, we're, we're weight bias here in the front. I'm going to have to sit on this shit. It's crazy how gravity works, right? Ugh, a little crazy. That's well, just the jack moving. The jack is tipping over, by the way. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. It's tipping over right now. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to need that pipe. Get some uh, leverage. How big of a pipe do you need? Bigger than the actual thing. Tidy. Just keep going right, right? Want some persuasion? No. I don't want to bend my forks. That's not what I'm aiming to do. Start from the bottom. Now we're here. Now we're here. Oh, damn. Can you, like, hold this for me real quick? Just, like, push on the, the, the sissy bar. Yeah, thank you. Jeez. I mean, this is left, right? Lefty Lucy? Let's try the instructions. Say. Unscrew axle bolt. Panty often. That looks like. That looks like that kind. Fuck, I can't read. That looks like that kind's bile you get when you just want to get fucked in the butt. Yeah, that's uh, exactly what it's like. Must know from experience, friend. I don't know. Oh god, Tyler, run. Hey Tyler, how you doing, man? This is new. This is, uh, not something I want to be a common occurrence. Come hold the bike with your muscles. No, dude! Andrew's got it. I'm nothing if not dead weight. <laughs> it's literally just all I need. Should we, like, lower this a little bit? Might give us some more help with the tension. Let me try that. I've established you know how to use the pressure release. Plenty. Yeah, right there. Right? Keep in mind, by lowering that, you're taking tension off the rubber strap. Oh, okay. And raising it, you'll add tension. Because only one end is connected to the arm, the other yeah, is connected yeah. to there. So if you raise it, you're going to put well, I shouldn't. I, I didn't do it too much. It should be okay. Well, you lowered it so you took pressure off. Of it. You're yeah. Saying if you decide to jack it up, keep that in mind so you don't break your seat. Yeah. Oh my God. This thing is something else. It's just like. Wow. Hang on. Um, so that's just the thing. I'm gonna make sure there is no lock. Yeah, lock the uh, no. tension bolt on there. I I don't think there is. Yeah, because I'm just feeling threads right yeah. there. Yeah. All right. Well, normally the end would be split and it would it would be cut and you'd run a bolt in there and pull it closed. Yeah. Like a like a set screw. In a way. The frame. Oh, yeah. nice! Yeah. Just hit the tank. You should be Yeah, I am. Ready? Sure. Are you sure this is a standard right hand thread? No. Pretty sure. I mean, why would it not be? I'll consult the manual. 
before I fuck something else up? Because it's on a wheel. I'm using my PlayStation this time. I may play a couple rounds of that. Video. Let's see. Where are we? Front. Front wheel. Raising and supporting. Yep, yep, yep. Do not twist the brake hose or brake line. Do not allow calipers. Oh, by the way, your rear caliper is hanging by the brake line. It's not, it's not a bad thing, is it? It's not supposed to do that. It's hanging by. Have you never done anything with brakes? Nope. Everything tells you not to do that. You're not to hang it? By, by the brake line? I mean, the hydraulic hose. Oh, well, I guess you're right. It's putting tension and pressure on it that it shouldn't have. Where's that piece of wood I just had? Oh, I'm using it. Give me one of them uh, bottles. Let's see. I don't know if that's it. Ugh. I also have some wire somewhere. A wire? Um. This could this could be fine, I think. All of all of my zip ties are in. Nah, dude, I think I got it. I think the zip ties will be fine. Right there. Okay. Okay. What? Okay. Okay. Yeah, as long as it's not hanging yeah, by it's not the hanging line. Hanging by the line. Yep. Alright, cool. I was gonna stay home from the gym today, but Tom called me and I was like, yeah, why not? Well, if that's all it takes, Tyler. Let's see. Watch cable removal. Oh, hey, there are pinch bolts. It's on the other side, no? Huh? That's not. Yes, okay, it's on the side that I'm on. Oh, okay. Right underneath it. Yeah, that makes sense. Support the wheel and move the axle. Okay. Spacers are loose every yeah, time by the dust seals. It's right there. Yep. All right, cool. Jake, please don't do that without me. I don't want to do the ab roller thing, but I do want to watch you. That's uh, probably a size 10. Down. Good job, Tyler. Nah, that's too small. I need 10 minute, dude. Jake, there's no way you're doing 10 minute blanks. There we go. Much better. Idiot.
Chad, look at that. Micro Jig, 10 minutes. Yeah, way too much. Fuck that. And there should be spacers that easily fall out of here. So speaketh the manual. El Manuel. I don't think there'll be a problem here getting this out. So we'll stop when it gets to ground. Well, the thing is, is well, I thought it was. Pretty close. Yeah. <laughs> you can see the scoring. <laughs> Not really scoring, but lines. Maybe that's just the manufacturing of the actual steel itself. Oh no, it was totally for me. <laughs> All right, there we go. Ugh. You have the core of an avocado. <laughs> you have the core of a plant. Jake, if you can do 10 minute plank, please record that or wait till I get there. Avocados are a great drink. Get it, Drake. Yeah, they do have great cores. It's, that's kind of true. You're right. right. Elevate just a wee bit. Now, I did say take the fender off, but we really need to. Are we uh, balanced? I got it. Who's balanced? Or is that just you? I'm not holding it down. Okay. Sit on it now. You've also set the jack in the crack of the floor. Yeah, I know. That's a great move. Great strategic placement, good strats. Looks like it just on this side right now is the, uh, oof. Don't need to remove no goddamn front fender. I'm lifting the front up a little bit. You just need a guy to lift it up a little bit. Yeah. Where's Tyler? <laughs> this is his thing. Oh. Chad, it's done. That was important. It's in the crack. It's in the crack. <laughs> we'll clean it off later. Hold up there for a minute. If I had a penny for every time I drop something in the crack. Oh, sorry. I'm literally giving you guys crack. Oh, God. Not the crack. <laughs> you weren't watching live. It's okay. I've seen it live way too many times. <laughs> Front. Out. It actually labels it on the brake, guys. Ab roller? Yeah, uh... Drake, it's it's like... I don't know if I'm... I, I didn't see all of chat, but it's like... Two wheels and... Or it's one wheel with the handle. And you literally just roll your whole torso out and then come back. All on your core strength. It's brutal. Yeah, yeah. You'll do a plank test for me? Nice. You should do it on stream. Come over, man. Everyone wants to see you. Everyone loves you. I'm very satisfied with the amount of progress that only I have been able to achieve tonight, without any help. It's all you. That bike would be just fine without that ratchet strap. Probably, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Toss body mutilation? <laughs> Dude, as long as I mark it 18 and up, it's fine. It's just a little flesh wound. Oh, I can't wait to take these to the shop. It's going to be a good day. Good, expensive, wholesome day. Kingasami, you're still here. As long as I'm making you laugh at me and not with me. There we go. 
go. Still in now. What time does it be now? 951? Yeah. Wow. Quicker than I thought. That's pretty cool. All right. Break right here on something smooth. Yeah. Steel smooth. Okay. Yeah. I don't see how you sit on that chair, by the way. It's like just straight up metal. Boy. Yeah, I guess. Uh, <clears throat> Let's see, chat. What do we got? Quicker than you thought. This has dragged on forever. Jake. You can work on evil. <laughs> right? <laughs> Jake. Jake's idea of, of, of uh, quick is just taking it to a shop and spending money that, that Mr. Moneybags has. Okay. I'm happy with that. All right. Now for the mud drains. God, that'd be sick. I'm 35 and roll. Huh? I'm 35 and roll. <laughs> Why? This is funny. To compare apples and oranges? All right, we need, uh, you know what? Chat, don't look at my butt. As if you could. Oh, God, that was sharp. Oh, God, crack. Cocaine. Cocaine is what he said. Just uh, moving my tires next to the car that I plan to transport it into. Andrew, don't do crack. Andrew! Oh, he went inside. <sighs> For me, it just started. Oh, Tyler! He is money and bags. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pretty much. Alright, let's put this one back. Burb! Again, because I didn't announce the first one. Don't know it. Okay, everyone, mute the stream in three, two, one. Okay, good. Rip ears. Dirty my Buick. <laughs> well, Kelly, I, uh, about that. So because the, oh shit, hang on, we should probably, uh, not let her break, <laughs> swing. Oh wait, no, it's attached to this, that's right. We got bolts there. Cool. We're good, we're good. So Kelly, because the fucking Buick has limited range, I think, hmm. I don't know how long it's going to take. I'm going to have to go back there and... I could probably stretch the Buick that way. Shouldn't be too bad. I think I could do that. BRB switching platforms. So I can get a couple rounds of Rocket League in. She. Alright. It's clean up time, guys. The stream is not over. We have to do something important. Which I will get to momentarily. But I had to close that front door just to get that out of the way real quick. Look at all these beautiful slabs of pig iron. 
And Andrew just wants to throw away, aka throw at me. So I can get this shit done. Throw in the butt! Let's see. Oh shit, that's the axle. Let me keep that somewhere safe. Safe. Oh okay. Tools, cleanup time. Put that there. This one there. And break the bar. Thirteen here. That somewhere. It's ten, right? Yeah, it's ten. 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 That's one. That was one. That goes here. This wrench, that wrench. Clean up. Clean up time. Square block was. We are. No. So, okay. It's a sad, but it's a beautiful sight. I feel redeemed. I was super, uh, super anxious about this actually because uh, I've never done this before. That's the only way you can do these things. You got to just do it, and then. You know how to do it. Jake's leaving. Uh oh. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'm bouncing out of here. Good night. Good night, Jake. Good seeing you. Thanks for coming by and uh, helping the speed go along. Whew. Tell my wife I said hi and I like her butt. Listen, she's right here. She can hear you. what I was doing with that motion there. Oh, you liking this? It's fucking hot. <laughs> yes, that was a strange turn of events. I was like, what am I doing? I think you can like headbutt water, right? It was weird. Streamer trying to be in a low budget flash dance? No, not flash dance. What I should have done is used gravity. Ah. Like that. I feel much better. My kingdom for brake clean. There. Sorry, Andrew. Let's do some brake clean, bud. You're on the wrong platform. Please buy my premium snap. Damn. Brake clean didn't even get that off. Tires are dirty, dudes. Including the stream. Oh, that should go... We need to clean that before we put that back on. That was the piece here. That should go with the axle. Mm. Yeah. Oh, dude. Brake clean smells so good. Ooh. 
Okay, chat. This is, um, oh, I still got tools right there. That's right. The door was sitting on the hammer. Well, the actual pulley here. How's that for a sushi bar? I gotta figure out where to put that. Somewhere safe. Right here is a fine home. Yeah. Sweet. Okay. Right with the spiders. Okay, chat. Now's the uh, time where I basically just gotta move this in a little bit, get it out of the way. Like, this thing has wheels, right? This could go catastrophically wrong. We have faith. We believe. Right? If you believe, type in idiot in chat. Ugh. No, we don't. What do you mean, no, we don't? I, I'm sorry, I'm not caught up with chat. What do you what do you mean? Just type idiot, like everyone is at least thinking. Here we go. Push it in the middle. Ugh. Nope, we're gonna pull. Just gonna pull. There we go. Ugh. We don't have faith. Okay, good, good. Well, look what your uh, lack of faith is doing. I find it disturbing. Um, yeah, I think that's it for now. I'm going to figure out where to take these wheels, and then I'm going to get the wheels done. I may live stream putting them back on. That would be probably a lot more, <laughs> that's probably going to be a lot more, uh, a lot more uh, frustrating because we have to make sure the alignment is correct on the rear wheel and also make sure the belt tension is perfect. But we cheated. We used a little sharpie to put a little mark where the, uh, the arrow should be. But I'm happy with that. Mute chat, guys, in uh, three seconds. Mute it. I gotta open the door again. This is Andrew's bike, but he never rides. It's okay though, we all have stuff here that we never ride. This is a uh, junkyard, what they might call it. There we go. That should be good. Sorry to impede your view real quick. Oh god, how do you get off this thing? Giant ass boxes. Dudes, I'm gonna turn this off because it's blinding me. Hope you can still see me. If not, I'll bring you up. Let's see. We can unplug the charger. I, I just did, Kelly. I just did. Oof. There we go. Okay. Right. Don't know if you guys can see me well. No, you can probably see me. But, um,. I said that before you did. Yeah, I know you did. I'm just giving you a hard time. So guys, I probably, I probably look like a wreck right now, but look at that shit. That's awesome. It's totally off the ground. It doesn't have rubber underneath it. But, uh, yeah. 
think I'm gonna end the stream here. <laughs> it's um, what time is it? It's 10:06. Ending it a little bit early, but I gotta take a shower, dudes. I gotta figure out where I'm gonna take these uh, wheels. I think the shop. I'm shaking. I think the shop is gonna only charge me minimal, so hopefully we don't have to worry too much about that. Oh, where's chat? Come back. Ugh! <laughs> I'm gonna use this for a second. This is a vice grip. There we go. Ugh. Home. Let me go back. There we go. Uh, Bearded Bobber, dude! I didn't know you had a Twitch account. Or if you did, you just made it for me. I appreciate it, man. Did you catch any of that? Were you lurking the whole time? Are you proud of me? Because uh, I'm, I'm freaking proud. But I, I would not... <laughs> I would not uh, scorn anyone for uh, for uh, yelling at me in chat, which is kind of what I expect, so, you know. I just made it for you. Oh, you just, you just got here? Well, dude, uh, it should be saved on Twitch if you want to check it out. But I think this is gonna be like I, I purposely didn't play music in this one. I wish I really wish I could have, but uh, yeah, that would have made it hard to put this on YouTube. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chop this down, like I said in our uh, Discord a little bit earlier, and chop it down and see if I can get any kind of educational value out of it for YouTube, and then put that out. Cause dude, it's Wednesday and I still don't have a video to put out Friday like I normally do. <laughs> yeah, Drake. It's good to see you. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you came. I'm glad you came to share. Um, yeah, it's been a good night. <laughs> oh, I probably look filthy and gross. Anyways, guys, thanks for coming by. You guys will. I will see you Friday, where I will hopefully, most likely. I figure you guys decide. That's that's multiplayer night. We're gonna figure that out. We're gonna have fun. Or I'm just going to get really drunk and play more Final Fantasy since we missed it tonight. But like I said in the Discord, Drake, uh, yeah, more Final Fantasy to come. Yeah. Alright, Bobber, Fiddle Daffle, whom I will see soon. Drake, everybody. I'll catch y'all later. Peace.